Until you come back to me, uh, the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin on Real Radio. Ten in front of eight in the morning, and you know what time it is, don't you? It's that time once again, moms and dads, guys and gals, dudes and dads, chill a little chillin' for this edition of The Bozo Report. Actual news stories from actual bozo criminals who do really stupid things. Or you get a few minutes worth of fame and notoriety with Nick and Nan in the morning, because we are the only two people anywhere in the world that would go to great lengths to read this mess. Bozo Report, sponsored by Trunk Monkey. Stories you're about to hear as always are indeed true. The names have been changed to protect the extremely stupid. Our first story this morning comes out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo, where Bozo Richard Helms broke into a residence and stole the owner's purse and a couple of other items. Investigating officers found the beer can inside the house that Herbozo had apparently left behind. Uh -oh. And since it wasn't a common brand, they decided to check a nearby convenience store to see if anyone had purchased any of the stuff lately. Uh -huh. Sure enough, the clerk remembered the beer and was able to identify Herbozo, who the cops found along with the stolen items at his apartment <laughs> nearby. He's busted. How CSI is that? Yeah, that was cool. Man. <laughs> On a Plainfield, Illinois, where Bozo burglar Brett Sawyer needs to refer to the standard crook operations manual before he tries another break-in. Okay. Our bozo broke through the back door of a residence late the other evening, awakening the homeowner. When she came face to face with him, instead of fleeing, he tried to convince her not to panic, telling her to stay right where she was and to remain calm. Well, she ignored him and ran next door to call the cops. This gave him the perfect opportunity to uh, flee, right? Uh, nope. <laughs> Or perhaps he used the time to ransack the house before making his getaway. No. Instead, our bozo made himself at home, settling into the lazy boy in the living room. <laughs> and that's where the cops found him, sound asleep. Well, they woke him up and took his happy butt to jail. Too funny. <laughs> our last story this morning comes out of Raleigh, North Carolina, where bozo Fred Ellis attempted to steal a woman's car in a grocery store parking lot. Uh -huh. Well, other shoppers noticed what was happening and came to her rescue, including one gentleman who had just purchased his frozen frozen Thanksgiving turkey. Oh no! It was a big bird too. He used said bird to bash our bozo over the head, knocking him to the ground. Boink! After being treated for head injuries, he was placed under arrest. Oh, that would hurt. That would hurt. Frozen? Woo! As a matter of fact, I mean, we could try that at home. We have a frozen turkey in our fridge. We do, don't we? <laughs> Have a look at this edition of the Bozo Report. Actual news stories from actual Bozo criminals. That would hurt. That would hurt a lot. Who do really stupid things and rather get a few minutes worth of fame and notoriety with Nick and Nan in the morning because we're the only two people who would read it. Bozo Report, sponsored by Trunk Monkey. And always heard twice a day on Real Radio. 1071 Our new home at 102.7 FM and always online at the big station. FM at 7 shy of 8 in the morning. The Nick and Nan.